Well, since I'm shuffling, or while I'm shuffling, the topic is Divine Feminine and No Sweat. This new beginning, you should trust those around you. These people know their actions that they've taken against you and all types of stuff like that. And the reason why you pulled away and all that. But they, you know, forced themselves into your energy and manipulated you into being like all the blockages and things so that they could come in and help you. But the whole time it was for their own benefit. <laughs> Final connect. Yeah. They're saying it's like you're trying to bring somebody with you and they're fighting against you, but not letting you go because they want you to become them because of all the stuff that they agreed to do that's causing them karma for attacking you. And if you agreed, then all of that karma would have went on to you and they wouldn't have dealt with it anymore. And once they got you to take that karma, they would have ghosted you, set you aside, all types of stuff like that. You would have been in a room full of people and nobody messed with you because the reasons why you couldn't mess with them are now what they're trying to follow. It's like, oh, we can't mess with you because you got too much karma attached to you. But when it was them, they were begging and pleading for you not to leave because, you know, they were using you, but you didn't know you thought. You feel me? But now that you're aware... They said, I knew this was going to happen eventually and all that type of stuff. I was just having fun because I thought, you know. Victory is here of you manifesting your dreams. Now that you're walking away from this third party karmic, karmic cycle, all types of stuff like that. And you've met your new opportunity. You, you're following in your new direction and you haven't, uh, you made your decision. And it was to go towards this new journey. So, you know, you removed your emotions. Now you're walking away completely. Because it's, it's, it's like it's always something. Play with your emotions and trying to emotionally manipulate and all this other stuff. Playing the victim and all this other, you know, toxic traits. Unhealthy people who don't want to change. Up this masculine not giving up because you have a lot and you found your way or something like that or you you know you and this masculine have found like you've been dealing with a lot of false masculines but now you found it. and it doesn't have to be a masculine this could be your opportunity that's going to bring forth everything that you manifested that they tried to keep you away from because you would have taken away your energy they would have been dealing with karma but created more karma trying to cover up what they did so they didn't receive karma. Caused them more karma. <laughs> and you just minding your business. What you deserve and you, the decision that you, like, you're protected behind your decision. So whatever decision you make, you're going to be protected behind it. As far as walking away from these people, if they try anything, attack you, distract you, manipulate you, um, you know, all that, my games and stuff, try to trauma bond you or uh, whatever all the other stuff is, they're going to get instant karma and you're going to lose people along the way, but it's all based off of the actions that was done without your knowledge or you know, I don't know And your ranking is different than theirs, so they're surprised because it's the end to something like. Your new beginning is always a positive outcome, so. The positive outcome from dealing with all these karmics is that you were able to heal because of who hired the karmics to come attack you. Because you was going to figure this out anyways. But it was best for you to believe that the third party karmics were the one doing this to you. 
because of the karma that they was going to receive. And once they agreed it, because they were probably paid or given nice things or whatever or, or whatever, you know. But you have to be careful when you're accepting something from somebody because you don't know what comes. What's the... You feel me? It's like making a wish or having a genie or whatever. But they, the person that sent these karmics in didn't expect you to be able to remember every single thing that they did to you because every time you healed from a childhood trauma, that person received karma. And it was like, dang, she catching on quick. And dang, how she remember this? It's because the karmics that you sent in to fit the profile to attack divine feminine, to make it seem like, oh no, you're psychic. These are things that are going to happen to you, not things that have happened to you. But the same things that these karmics have done, I remember going through it with the attacker. So it's like... I'm not even, you feel me? And then because you're spiritually growing and learning and catching on, like, you're not doing like, And that's why they were jealous of you because you was always able to see through the whatever. So you're having an emotional celebration because in order for you to receive what it is, these people had to fall back. They didn't want to do it automatically. So now there are many, you feel me? It's, you feel me, that type of... <sighs> And then they said you're going to be exposed to some information. Just deal with, like, be like, yeah. But this could be the information that you already found out. So you already did this. Like, you went through it. You were being brave. But I was like, you know, well, now that it's over. The things that they did to you to try to low vibe you are not working anymore. So now the connection is weak and you're starting to overpower these people. And that's how they know that their time is coming to an end because they're no longer able to. To knock you off your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no sweat, no nothing, divine feminine. You don't have to worry about anything. Your masculine is coming in or your opportunity and all type of stuff like that. And these karmics are going to feel shitty because you didn't try to get them back. You didn't try to play tit for tat. You didn't do none of that stuff. You didn't, you didn't do nothing. And they thought that you were an easy target because you weren't doing anything. But you proving your innocence or clearing the air, you feel me, you know, and confronting people. So... Keep confronting and speaking up and standing up for yourself and letting them know, like, no, I, that's not my intentions. Because somebody will tell you something that sounds so convincing and you will believe it because it was just like, oh, my God. They were just, there was so much detail. To, it's the truth and blah, 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 blah. 